Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. We're at Gilcrest Blue Springs State Park today. Yep. Um, it's located in High Springs, Florida. Uh, it's 407 acres. Yep. It was first opened in 1958. It was a private park then. Yeah, and then in 2017, it became a state park. Yep. Um, it's, uh, it's a second magnitude springs too, so. But uh, we were here two years ago and it, ha it was so different. They had this big boardwalk that went alongside the river. Uh -huh. That's all gone now, so I wonder why. Yeah, I don't know. They must have, I mean, it was looking a little weather beaten, I think, yeah. the last time. But, but it was actually yeah. really nice to be able to walk down and check out the spring. Yeah, from a high. Yeah. So we're going to walk around, we're going to see what there is to do here, and then we're going to get in that water because it is beautiful. Look at it. All right, come along. Yep. It looks like you can get some snacks here. And this is where you would rent your kayaks and canoes and they give you the prices. Not too bad. That's all through Anderson's uh, Outdoors. Um, I did see that a shuttle is not provided. So if you go down the Santa Fe River, they're not gonna come and get you. <laughs> yep. So you gotta find your own way. Home. Make plans. As it is with most of these parks, the uh, pavilions are first come, first serve. So if you want one, get here early. Yep. What I found on the website is that these sites are actually $18, whether they have electric or if they're primitive. Um, these are the electric, uh, they have electric water, um, a little fire pit, and a picnic table. The primitives do not have uh, water or electric, so. but they're really hard to get, especially on the weekends. Um, if you can get here and do a weekday camping, that would probably be better. The bathroom's right there. Pretty close next to the electric and water pit. They have 23 campsites. 16 of them can be used for RV or tent, and those are probably your electric and water campsites. And then there are seven that are just for tents. That's probably the primitive area that we are right now. Um, these primitive sites are huge, way bigger than Anastasia Island that we were just visiting a couple months ago. No electricity, no water, and you're kind of far from the bathroom. So definitely bring a light if you're gonna stay out here. There are trails here that you can hike. Um, they're they're not long. I mean, it's it's like less than a mile, yeah. um, but they do offer beautiful sights, uh, awesome topography, geographical phenomenon. Yeah, the 350 year old cypress is yep. somewhere and around there. You can even see a couple of hidden springs back there too. So, okay. all right, we'll go check out a, a little bit of it and uh, head on our way. Yeah. Bring a pair of backup shoes or shoes that you really don't care about, maybe work shoes that you use. Or the water shoes. Or water shoes, as I am. Water shoes. Because um, it's a little muddy back here and you, you kind of want to be sure you're not going to be afraid to lose your shoe. It might get stuck in mud or it might just get yeah. ruined by the mud. Like, look at over here. It's, this is the dry mud, but over there, that's where all the wet mud is. You get stuck, right? Definitely. <laughs> okay, so it's really hot. We're going to go jump in now. All right, let's go get wet. Michael's gonna go down, he thinks he's about 10 feet deep. <laughs>
Yeah, this is definitely more of a beginner friendly spring. The actual area that you could swim down only goes down to maybe 10, 12 feet. I mean, it's kind of a slope feet, so if you have little ones or you're just trying to learn how to get down there, it should be a good one to start. Black people around here. Yeah. It's very quiet. Very quiet and relaxing, yep. right? I think we're going to get out now and go eat our pub sub and then uh, maybe wrap up and we got something else we want to uh, say. Yeah. <laughs> Those were some delicious subs. Yes, always. <laughs> yeah. I think this is where we're going to leave you. Yeah. Um, Gilcrest is always fun. I love it here. Yeah. And um, uh, it, was very, it was a little more crowded than we're used yeah. to. But So if you hey. can come here on a Tuesday, on a school day, mm -hmm. oh, you will have the best time ever because there will be no one here. <laughs> yeah. So if you have watched our last video or remember from our last video. Yep. We had uh, mentioned a road trip that we had planned. Yes, well, big plans this summer. Uh, the next video that will follow this one will be the start of that yes. little neck of uh, videos. So I think we counted out it. We're going to be on the road for 22 days. Yeah. Yes. And part of it will be Florida. Yes. But we have five other states involved. Um, so it looks like we're going to start our trip in Mariana, Florida, which is right in the panhandle. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to head over to Helen, which Georgia. is Helen, Georgia, which is up in the mountains. And then we're going to head over to my aunt's house. She lives in Fort Mills, South Carolina, but she lives right next door to um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a little bit. We're going to kind of cross over the yeah. two of them there. Yeah. Um, from there, we're heading over to our favorite place in the whole world, a little <laughs> town, but most people know it, Maggie Valley. Maggie Valley. Um, <laughs> There's nothing yeah. to do there. But eat. But eat. It's a foodie's paradise. And the people are so nice there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, after that, we are heading to Gatlinburg for three nights. Um, mm -hmm. We ended up doing another timeshare thing. We're going to go take a look at a Holiday Inn timeshare. Yeah. So we'll be checking out some stuff there. Hey, it's a, it's almost a free stay. It's uh, very cheap. Very at cheap. least that's yeah. why we do those. Yes. Um, and then from there, secret, this uh, Nikolai does not know, but he's been asking to go to Sweetwater because the last time we went to Sweetwater, he was an itty bitty baby. Yeah, so he was looking at pictures and we were yes. talking about it. He's like, oh, I'd like to go back. So we just kind of snuck that in there yeah, too. Yeah, so on the way to Alabama, we found out that we can cut through and hit Sweetwater. Yeah. And it still, it will add like 20 minutes to our trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Sorry, the bugs are out. Yeah, so we're going to stop at Sweetwater just to go see the lost sea. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then from there, we're going to head to Birmingham, Alabama, which we've never been to Alabama. And then we will be ending our trip in, um, it's called Crawfordsville, Florida, which is where Edward Ball Wa Wakula State Park is. Um, there is swimming there, there is a boat, and they have a restaurant, and I even saw they have a hotel um, that you can stay. Uh, we were, unfortunately, we weren't able to get a room because, you know, you have to book eight months in advance, uh -huh. like everything. But maybe we'll get a couple shots of it. Yeah, so. let's see what we can find. But we're so excited. Yeah, this will definitely be, uh, be a nice little uh, segment for us. This is our first road trip where we're going to be hitting a new spot every couple days. Yeah, and I took off about two and a half, three weeks yes. of work to do this, so it should so, be fun. Yes. So look for those videos. We're going to air them all throughout the summer though because it's going to be a lot. We ain't rich. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we have to kind of space it out. So it'll start second week of June and it'll go all the way to the end of summer and probably sometime in August, the triple end. Yeah. So all right. I think well, that's it. Yep. Thank you for watching and coming along with us. Yep. Keep exploring. We'll see you on the next one.